So here is my new CNC router. It's a heavy mill from 3D Tech XYZ. And, uh, so this CNC comes as a kit and you get the kit from 3D Tech, comes very well packaged. Um, it's all very well protected inside boxes and it's all labeled. Uh, that helps things when you're putting the kit together. So there you go. But before you build the CNC, you have to have a bench. So some footage of me just building the bench first. The twist of fate, the sudden new idea. My very first movement of my machine, I hope, after unlocking some error codes. The size of this thing, it's big. I just wanted to explain that I've finished the build now and I've used it for a couple of times. Did a couple of little test pieces here as well in my, first, my very first cuts and I leveled the bed as well using some MDF um, sacrificial waste board on there. My first cut so I'm learning to use machine but the machine itself I'm very very happy with it. It's a 3D tech heavy mill, the large one, the 1.5 meter heavy mill. So it'll do a one, one, it'll do a half a sheet of plywood like four feet by four feet or 1200 mil by 1200 mil so it's quite a big size and they give me a great uh, scope to, to try out some new ideas that I have. Um, I'm certainly no expert on using this sort of machine at all, I've, this is the first time I've used one but I know that uh, you've got to try and embrace the technology and where it can take you and it helps you express uh, new creative or break new creative boundaries. Um, you still needs a lot of input from the user it's a machine, it'll just do what you ask it to do and there's a skill in that so um, it still needs your creative ability so just like when they invented electric tools replace hand tools and saws and things like that this is something similar in the new age that we live in um, now it's also the, the spindle there is 1.5 kilowatt air cooled motor 
Um, I opted for an air-cooled motor for simplicity rather than the water-cooled motor. Um, also, it's got NEMA 23 stepper motors, and it's also got the the belts here. Rather than rather than ball screws, um, it's got belts there. Um, look, for me, uh, I probably won't notice a difference. The ball screws are probably a better option, more expensive option, probably a slower, um, probably slow down the machine a little bit unless you go to the very very high end uh, CNC machines. Probably out of my affordability, really, uh, for my skill level, I'm probably um, probably never push the limits of these belt drives and they seem to be, from what I've seen so far, working quite well. You probably want to allow, this is a kit, so I got it from uh, 3D Tech XYZ. Uh, it's an Australian produced kit. Uh, you know, it's a, probably a fraction of the price of a full sized um, machine that changes tools and things like that, but it's got great capability, it's extremely strong. It's a big step up from those Shapokos, Shapokos? Or X Carves, um, similar sort of I guess it's like a giant one, it might look like one, but it's, it's very different in terms of its rigidity and its structure. Now, um, what else has it got? The electronics inside the machine is the, is the uh, GRBL, the Gerbil all-in-one car that I'm using the, uh, the driving software, same Gerbil uh, 1.1, Vectric, VCar Pro also. I'm a real beginner at using all that and I'm looking forward to, to um, pushing out some products or some, some ideas with using those, uh, using those software packages. Uh, about probably to build the thing, because it does come in kit form, you probably would need to allow probably a minimum of uh, three days, uh, probably, probably more, depends on your skill level really and your ability to interpret the information. But the information is, is online, it's got video and it's got uh, text and pictures to help you try and understand how to build the machine. Uh, it's really not that difficult. Probably with so many parts when you first start building a machine, you could probably be easily overawed with that. But if you start breaking it down bit by bit, um, and then it's really not that big a problem. And it can save you a lot of money. And it's probably a, uh, a good satisfaction to finish the machine at the end. So the I've got some other projects to do first or along the way too so I've been busy uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you as as we learn how to use this machine and push out some projects take care see you next time